Math and statistical formulas are important tools in Excel that help you get your work done and being able to get the results that you need as fast as possible. Let's move into our Excel sheet. As you can see here, we have a value of 3.4256789. That value will be used as an example. First, we'll talk about the function of rounding. It is basically a function that's been used to round the number into a certain number of integers. Let's say here 3.4125. What if I want to round that number into 3.4? then what should I do? Or what if I want to round that number into 3.412? In this case, it will be mathematically 3.413 and so on. What we do, we go to the cell where we want to show the rounded result, hit equal and type the function round and open parentheses. And now the rounding function is showing you what kind of values you need first you need the number that are you trying to round in this case the number in cell a1 i'll left click on it then i'll hit comma now he say num underscore digits which means how many number of digits do you need to take after the point so you have three point a lot of numbers how many numbers you want to include with that rounding if one digit in this case he will have it as 3.4 two digits 3.41 three digits 3.413 and so on so let's try with one digit close parentheses hit enter you can see he rounded it as 3.4 let's round for more than one digit so equal round the number is the number in cell a1 comma I need it to be rounded into three digits after the point. Hit enter, you can see it is mathematically true. It is equal 3.412, in this case, 13, because he rounded the two as long as to the right of the digit two, you have five, in this case, two will be three. That's the basics of mathematics, as you know. What if we want to round it to five digits after the point? So let's finalize with that. Round whatever number in cell A1, comma, five digits after the point, close parentheses, enter. In this case, you got 3.4125. Instead of six, you have seven because number six has been rounded into seven since the number to the right of that number is equal or higher than five. The second function is the function called int, which is meaning integer. What if you need this value to be represented as integer? You don't care whatever after the point over here. So you care about the digit to the left of the point, in this case three. What if I wanna represent that as an integer? I'll hit the cell where I wanna show my result for my equation. I start the equation with equal as usual. Then I will hit INT, which relates to integer. Open parentheses, he say choose a number over here. That's the number we need. Close parentheses, hit enter. You can see that number is being transferred from decimal into integer, which is number three. Let's try another number. Let's say we have 2.56742 or 43. And we want to apply the same equation, equal integer. What is the integer of that number? Close the parentheses, hit enter. In this case, the integer is two. So it's kind of he ignored any number after the comma and he gave you the integer number to the left of the point. As simple as that. What if we want him uh, to round that number in a non-mathematical way? Sometimes you need that number to be to the closest even or odd number so in our example over here 3.4125678 what if i want to have that number represented as the nearest higher number to be even or the nearest higher number to be odd sometimes you could need that in kind of sorting or whatever application you're having but it's good to know in case you need it so we start with even equal 
write even, open parentheses, he say which number you want it to be even, this number. So that number is odd by default, 3.4. What if I want it to be as integer number, but to be even? The logic or the backstage programming will try to find the nearest even number higher than that number. In this case, should be 4. We close parentheses, hit enter, he gave you 4. What if I want the nearest odd number higher than that number? I would say equal odd, open parentheses, choose the number you want it to be, round it to the nearest odd. Again, that's not mathematic, but it is, it is a special case where you need the closest odd number to that exact number I've chosen. In this case, it should be 5. And you can see he gave you number five as a result. That's the odd for 3.41. That is the closest odd number higher than that number.